My name is Sergeant G Gerald Brown. G I G I A L D. Okay, so Brown. that's the movement you make Okay, so Don I Thomas. Need, uh, uh, please, Don Thomas, uh, your muscles, formerly a member of the Drifters. So up on the roof, under the boardwalk, say the last dance week. That's enough of that. And you're on that beat. Everybody on that beat? Well, um, to uh, support whatever I can support as far as okay. children you know, getting in the pop in a positive zone and uh, closest to God to God. Uh, what about yourself? Uh, myself? Well, I've been through the uh, Vietnam War, so I, I see a lot of youth being killed and things like that. And me, must, I have 12 children, 23 grandchildren. So, you know, if we can just teach them that education and things like this is good, you know, when people learn, then they don't fight. They, they, uh, they get together, they do things, they can reason things out. The Drifters are uh, in uh, the Hall of Fame and I'm worldwide. You know, the the business, I uh, beat cancer, give all praise to God. Uh, how long were you actually, uh, your membership with the Drifters? Oh, I haven't performed with, with the Drifters. I was with them for 20 some years with the Drifters. Before the Drifters, uh, James Brown was my manager for three years. James Brown, Godfather Soul. And he brought us my group to New York. He was co starring for all the big groups in the world. And, uh, he accepted us and we recorded on King Records in Cincinnati, Ohio, with Willie John and Midnighters. And uh, from there he brought us to New York. And uh, they needed a lead singer with the good family at the house. So in the church. His name was Charlie Thomas. And I took his place in the group. And uh, from there it was like history with the drift. It's like similarities. Oh, I say it's so where you're coming from and where you're going to. We don't have anything in our mind. We can't even visualize that where we're going to. But it's what's in your heart and what you really uh, know that you can do. And you do what you can do. And uh, just let God be in control. Because we're never in control ourselves. I mean, we all know the emotion, but God is in control. And He puts us where we are. As for me being here today, this morning right here, I can see this in my right here. And uh, the 20 years that I've been with this. I beat cancer on um, five, five, five or six years ago. About five or six years ago. I'm a veteran too. I'm a connected service veteran too. shot three, three, three different times in Vietnam. So I have three Purple Hearts and Bronze Star. Uh, I also beat cancer. I had stomach cancer. And I beat that. Uh, my wife, she, she passed away from cancer. Uh, but I've been singing blues all my life. And uh, that's just like country and western so just come this way. blues so just is black man's roots because blues to tell a story you know uh, and then you, we're you know your girl left and you got a holes in your shoes and no money in your pocket that's blues you know uh, i'm saying <laughs> you know can't get a job and you're picking cotton that's blues you know uh slaves getting beat and singing a song while you know, while they while they're slaves, that's blues. You know, we tell each other a story. You know, and uh, you know that's what I like to do. I, you know, I didn't do it with a group, but I always did it. You know, I I was doing on stage. 
know, when Don has something going, I'll, you know, I'll come in and sing my little blues, you know. Um, but I've been doing it, man, for my wife and my kids. I got a, I got a seven-year-old granddaughter. She sings blues. She likes blues, you know. So, you know, my roots, my, my roots are Holly Hill, South, South Carolina. You know, like Pearl was talking about a, a song I wrote called Down South Woman. I know, you know. <laughs> so, uh, that's why I was you know. Well, nothing tells me about that. You know something? I'm going to tell you what I did do, though. My, uh, my, my granddaughter, the 11 year old, she had a, she had a trouble, she had a little problem with history and math, but she can write rap, but she can write rap, rap songs. I mean, these kids rap today, we don't understand what, what they're saying. I don't understand what, what they're saying, just some of the parts, just some of the words. But these kids can sing every word, but she writes, so I tell her to rap, to rap, write raps to her history. Write raps to her man. She do that and everything improved. So no, this is their era. This is their time. You know, blues is gonna always be there. So no, I don't, you know, uh, you know, I don't, uh, you know, I don't like the N word and the B word when it comes to women when they're saying that. I don't like that. You know? I don't let my my children and my grandchildren, even though my children is grown and they probably, some of them probably like it, but they don't like it in my house because they ain't, ain't gonna be in my house. You know, I don't let my grandkids, you know, do it when they write, they take that out. That's the only thing that I just want to do. But if, you know, it's whatever suits you, you know, that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> so what about yourself? Well, no, when I was young, uh, I was dedicated, dedicated and devoted to music. From a uh, kid, my whole family was theatrical the playing. And everybody was really singing. At a young age, I was like singing at 11 years old. And uh, I kept that going. And uh, my uh, sisters and things, they are in church. I just think that it's something that they should be doing, what they're doing, and they should put their heart and soul into it. If they can, they can go as far as God can take them, and He will take them a long ways. But first, they have to surrender to Jesus Christ Almighty. Otherwise, uh, it's a wrap. It's over. You know? But they're doing good things, and what they're doing now, and a lot of people is doing remixes, remakes of things. But it's coming from where I came from. You know, but we didn't do remixes and all that kind of stuff. We did what we were doing. That beautiful lyrics, beautiful song, beautiful ballads, beautiful uh, uh, hip hop type songs. I'm gonna say hip hop, but a partial part of jazz. Jazz came along with this. You know, and uh, it was just a hard working thing. And we got uh, a lot of things that I didn't know about as far as booking or. Uh, of getting itineraries and things as to put myself in places that I wanted to be at and all that. It was like people just verbally telling us things and we just got beat out of a lot of things. We never got the props and the money that we should get. No groups that's out there have ever got, you know. Can't touch and it was that doggy dog world. A doggy dog world, you know, and people just took advantage of us, you know. This is a picture of me here. Uh, I did the, uh, the news. Uh, they came to me not too long ago and they did the news. Uh, uh, a story on me. And uh, I have a part here about my son. Uh, he was killed. And uh, somebody was shooting at somebody else and they killed my son, Ken Yada, my baby son. He was like 38, 39 years old. This has been about a year ago, two years ago. And uh, my, one of my daughters died. White died of cancer. And um, I beat cancer, so it's what God has in store for us. And I guess that's what we have to do to make it. You know, but he has to be first in my life in everything I do. Every song I sing is in it. You know, and that's just what I've made up until 50 years. It's like from the uh, 